This section heading is called the HTTP POST method. So first I'm going to log into the system as the root user. Once inside of here, I'm going to pull up a capture so it will help me to explain to you what we're going to be doing within this section. So here's that capture. So now we saw inside of chapter one, we took a look at three key attributes within our index.html file. And we described how these attributes were used in the process of relaying the data from both the username and password input fields to the backend server. So what we're going to do in this section is we're going to analyze how the data gets relayed via the HTTP POST method from the client side file over here to the backend server. So the way that we're going to do this is by using a utility that's known as Burp Suite. So we're going to configure Burp Suite to act as a proxy. So what I'd like you to imagine is that there's actually a device between the client side file and the server, and it's going to intercept communications so that we can analyze them. So the first step in this process is to open up a browser and we're going to navigate to yourbank.com. So we'll retrieve the client side file and then we're just going to review those three key attributes within this file. So we said that they were method, action, and then we also pointed to the name attribute within the input fields of the username and password. We also said inside of chapter one that inside of our action script, there's going to be a post function. And as an argument to that function, is going to have the same value set as our unique token IDs identified by the name attribute over here. So we would have one function for the username input field and one for the password input field. And once again, this is how PHP is referencing the data that it wants to have retrieved and relayed via the HTTP POST method. So now what we're going to do is we're going to minimize the browser and we're going to start up Burp Suite so we can visualize this whole process. So this takes a second to load, so please be patient. So once it's loaded, we're simply just going to minimize and then we need to configure our browser over here to have Burp Suite as our proxy. So we're going to go to Preferences, we're going to go to Advanced, Network tab is selected, Settings. So inside the settings, we're going to use a manual proxy. It's going to be the local host address. And then Burp Suite is going to listen on port 8080 by default. And we'll remove this entry down here. So now I need to go full screen so I can access that OK button down here. OK, so now going back to our home page, if we log in as Bob, We'll be able to analyze that whole process once we submit the form. So we're going to log in and what we notice immediately is that there's a hamster wheel spinning in the upper left and that's because Burp Suite has intercepted the communication so we're going to minimize the browser, go back to Burp Suite, make sure the proxy intercept tabs are selected and then we're going to go over to the header tab. So inside the headers tab what we're going to find is that we're submitting or transferring the data via the HTTP POST. So that's the POST method. Our action script is what's going to outline what should happen to that data once the form is submitted. And we can see that we're transferring the data within the HTTP message body down here. So now we'll simply just forward the request by clicking this button twice. We'll minimize and then we'll deconfigure the proxy. So we'll go back to our browser, we'll go back to the Preferences tab over here, select Settings, and then just say No Proxy and click OK.